What's going on guys, Individual Game here, welcome back to a brand new video. This video is just to cover how to download the teams properly, put them in a league to play in a career mode, and also play casually as well. So you need to go to Fan Hub Search, go to Clubs, and then you, uh, you go down to Sort by um, Date, and then go to Max Results to 75, and then Username individual gamer now you have to type it in every time you do want to do this and you can see you just got to type it in and then once you finish press done and then begin the search this will show you all the clubs that I have uploaded uh, basically of which I'm playing in right now with my career modes um, I'd be a pros, um, custom games as well. This is basically everything on my database that is on the fan hub. So it will take a little bit of time depending on how fast your broadband speed is. For some reason, it's downloading all the clubs now, all 75 of them. And there you go. All you need to do now, once it's downloaded, it will take a little bit of time. You can either press sort by the number and it will flip them starting at the bottom um, just like that you ignore the international teams and the uh, origin teams and there you go there is all from 55 onwards is all the updated NRL teams and then it goes into your super leagues now I'm picking the Sydney Roosters um, for that so I click on that it retrieves the information And once it's retrieved the information, I will show you right now. If we go to the roster side of it, you can rate the club, by the way. Much appreciate you do it. It's not just for me. It's for all the creators that have done this. If you go to the roster, you can see Brett Morris is in the squad. Everybody is in there. You go to the jerseys. We've got all the jerseys. We've got the home, the away, the indigenous, the Anzac, heritage one. And then I've put the Auckland 9 ones in there as well for the career mode. The home ground as well, you've got the Allianz Stadium. And then all you need to do is press download. This will save it locally for you. And then download with logos. As you can see, everything it comes up with this alert, just press yes. It's just basically all the versions of the different logos and stuff and tags. And then save it as a custom. Would you like to replace local version with the new this new version? You just press yes. Uh, same with the Titans, and it'll upload this to your database. And I will just show you where it will be as well. So if we go back out of this, and then you go to clubs, edit club. It won't be in this bit because this is the games one. You go, it's a custom one. You can see you've got the Sydney Roosters there. You've got the jerseys all there. You've got the Rostra. Everything is basically there. I will show you just quickly. I've got the Brisbane, Gold Coast, um, Rabbitohs and Dragons. I did all this just to uh, prove that it does still work. As you can see, if I go down to the Roosters of the games version it will still be the current whenever the game came out actually no when the world cup edition came out so last year it will still be last year's um rosters on the local nrl so what we need to do now to play as all these custom teams in a career mode whether it's a coach a star or be a pro all you need to do is go out of this edit club bit go to leagues create a league pick the league you are editing I've picked the NRL custom name you can change it whatever you want I normally go NRL um, 19 there we go short name NRL and I'm just going to change those uh, clubs that I have done you click it it shows you go to your custom replace custom one and then we go to the uh, where is it the Titans replace the Titans we go and find the uh, roosters replace the roosters 
the rubber toes as well we just replace the rubber toes and also the uh, the dragons as well st george we replace that and that is your custom league done uh, obviously if you download all the nrl teams you just need to do that in a career mode now all you need to do is obviously start a new career mode press ok whichever settings you like currency whatever custom leagues you go down to the nrl flip it to the your custom one and same if you're doing it for the Holden, Queensland, Betfred, Kingston Press Championship and League One. You press accept. And it will show you now that this, the Sydney Roosters and the Rabbitohs will be there. I'm taking control of the club. You've got the Broncos new kit, as you can see. And then it would follow if you download all the new NRL clubs. We're going to be the Roosters, as you see. We're clicking the Roosters there. Uh, we'll just... Picking a random one, unaffiliated, just to get through this, pick a sponsor, any sponsor. And then, as you can see, we've got all the correct players there. Sorry for that little bit of a glitch up then. And then, obviously, if we keep going, play match, players the roosters, it'll pop up like this. You can see I've not downloaded the Queensland ones yet, but all the Roosters new kits are there and the Queen and, and the Auckland Nines ones are there. But guys, that's how you do it. And if you go, it, once you've made your league as well for all the clubs, if you want to play it uh, a 1v1 with someone, um, like a family member who's sat next to you, you just could press the NRL match, the um, 13 aside, and then you go across... To your NRL 19 league which will be there as you can see it's just after the the mall NRL and if you've not created a league it'll come up as custom and then you just find find it find a team that you've done we're gonna find the Broncos we've got the Broncos you've got the Broncos ones you got the Rabato ones as well and guys, that is how you do it. Hopefully that has cleared everything up for you guys. Uh, much appreciate the like on this, uh, on this video. And hopefully uh, you will all be happy and carry on gaming and supporting the channel as well. But don't forget to subscribe as well to the channel for more rugby league content. As always, I'm Individual Gamer. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you all in the next video.